There is one place I've always wanted to go to. Not only because of its culture. People or landscapes. Also because of this. Copic markers. Copic markers are some of the finest markers in the world. Back in 2017, I, well, my mom got me my first three colors. And over time I've been building quite a big collection. I've created over a thousand pieces with these markers. And you guessed it right. Copic is based in Japan. So one night, without any plans, I told them I was coming and asked if they wanted to meet. The next morning, without guarantees this would work, I pulled the trigger on the flight. One week later, I arrived in Tokyo. The trip began as any good journey would. I stayed in Japan for two weeks, so I had some time to explore the country and wait for Copic's reply. But eventually, days passed and I didn't hear back from them. I started losing all hope until the night before returning home, I got a notification. It read, If you are still free, we would be delighted to welcome you on the 22nd. If you like, we can have lunch together and then take you to Tools, our own art supply store in the area of Tokyo. Of course I said yes. So the next day, I put on my best outfit and I met with Copic. It went a little bit like this. I arrived at the station at around 10.45 am. I had never done anything like this before, so I was pretty nervous. I walked around for a little bit, and then I got a message. I'm right here, it said. I looked up, and then I saw her. It was Julia, the person from Copic I had been speaking with. I said hi, and we hopped on a train in direction to Tools, their official art supply store. Here, I met Junichi, Copic's executive vice president. He showed me around the store, and then he said, so I grabbed a few things and took a legendary picture. But that was not it. After that we had some sushi and headed to Copic's headquarters. Here we talked for a bit and then I made a small drawing for them. But sadly there was a flight I had to catch. 20 hours later I arrived at the studio. Um, so today I'm going to make an artwork using all the art supplies I got in Japan. But first, let me show them to you. After unboxing, listing and organizing all the items, I realized that I got myself into a pretty big problem. Don't get me wrong, these art supplies are incredible, but I have no idea how I'm going to use them all in one artwork. Fortunately, I always have a trick up my sleeve. This is Lapis, one of the three dogs I own. She's pretty insane, but there are many things I like about her. One of them is how she runs. So one night, I decided to turn her run cycle into an animation. Transfer that to paper and I'm going to color each frame with a different set of art supplies. How on earth am I going to plan for this? Well, this is where Milanote comes in. Milanote is the perfect tool for organizing your creative projects. Think about it as a digital corkboard with endless space, endless possibilities, but as easy to use. Milanote allows you to add photos, notes, to-do lists, tables, videos, audios, and pretty much anything you can think of, so you can envision your projects perfectly, making the execution absolutely flawless. 
For mine, I've gathered pictures, videos and diagrams to plan my animation. And also did a breakdown with the art supplies, color combos and reference images I'm going to use for each frame. On top of that, Milanote counts with over 100 built-in templates. Mood boards, illustration, film, interior design, Milanote has you covered. But that's not it. Milanote also has a mobile app so you can work on your boards wherever, whenever and with whoever you want. You can send teammate links to your boards to get feedback or collaborate in real time. So what are you waiting for? Milanote is available for free with no time limit. Sign up using the link in the description. Thank you Milanote for making this video possible. Now that our plan is ready, we can start working on the animation. For frame number one, I'm going to use Copic Multiliners. Since I have a variety of sizes, I'm going to use thick pens to line the doggo and thin ones to do the shading. And just like that, the first one is ready. For frame number two, I'm going to need some paint water. For this one I'm mixing red wash with cyan copic markers. The result is pretty interesting, so let's move forward to frame number 3. Acrylic markers and copic highlighter. Oh, and a little bit of green tea. Green? Frame number 4 is probably the one I'm most excited about. Since I'm going to use an art supply I didn't even know it existed. But it's not this pen and not the white copic marker either. I present to you the Icy Manga screen. To use them, first you choose a design. Line it up with your drawing, cut the amount you need and paste it on your art, giving you pretty interesting textures. For frames 5 and 6 I used wash paint once again and for frame number 7 I went back to my roots. And to finish, for frame number 8, I mixed every single art supply I got in Japan. Just like that, my animation is finally ready. Enjoy the reveal. Bye.